Hi everybody, today's episode we will be discussing what is an audiologist. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Squires. And I'm Dr. Carly Squires. And this is Dr. Squires Squared. This is a channel where we have candid and casual conversations about anything and everything audiology. Not sure what audiology is or what an audiologist is? We're actually gonna tell you today. Yeah. So hit the like button and the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell so you get all of our notifications uh, when our new content comes out. Um, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Yes. All right, guys, this is episode 10 of Dr. Squires Squared, our video podcast. Throughout this entire process, we've talked about audiology, um, ourselves as audiologists, but we thought it would be a good idea to take a step back and actually explain what audiology and what an audiologist uh, really means. Right, so audiology is actually a branch of science con in medicine concerning hearing or the auditory system. And so knowing that, you know that an audiologist is someone who is trained to evaluate and then and, and sometimes treat hearing imbalance disorders as well as tinnitus. Right, so in knowing what an audiologist is, um, it's a really important, I think, uh, or we think, to talk a little bit about their the, the educational background and training that's kind of concerned with um, what what a new audiologist is. Um, audiologists now come out of a graduate program with a doctoral degree. In order to get licensed in, in almost all states um, with a new license, you have to have a doctoral degree in order to practice. Um, but it's also important to remember that um, at one point in time, it was a master's level, uh, a master's entry level. Mm -hmm. So there are practicing audiologists who have lots of experience mm -hmm. um, who have a master's degree. So you might find a mix between master's level audiologists as well as uh, doctorals. Right, and that doctoral degree, um, you may see that at the end of our names, it's AUD, which is a, do a doctor of audiology, but you also may see someone with a PhD, so you can get a research doctorate in audiology as well, and you can still practice with that. Right, it's also important to remember that you might see a combination of degrees. Mm -hmm. um, as long as they have their doctorate, they can practice as an audiologist, but they might also be trained in other disciplines, like speech-language pathology, um, or they might have a dual research and clinical degree. Right, and so I think it's important too to understand um, kind of how you get your doctorate in audiology. So the two of us have a four-year bachelor's degree from university in speech pathology, pathology and audiology. It could also be in communication sciences. Uh -huh. And then you move on to obtain your graduate level schooling and your AUD or PhD, um, and that is also four years. Usually that final year um, is now a basically a clinical fellowship where you're practicing for an entire year. We take a fourth year year or a resident audiologist to complete their training at our practice too. That's right. One great thing about audiology is you can work in a variety of different settings um, and for example we work in a private practice but no matter where you're working um, audiologists kind of serve as a support specialist to oftentimes other areas or other professionals. That's right so for example in our complex right now we have an ear nose and throat uh, physician um, or an ear, ear, nose, and throat specialist. Um, I, we've both been in settings where we work with otologists and speech language pathologists like through the school system. So in any of those cases, we are typically the diagnosticians who will either rule out or rule in mm -hmm. some type of hearing deficit or vestibular or balance disorder um, so that we can uh, help those other professionals to really design a treatment plan um, to best address those patients' issues. Right, and a good example of that um, that you can see in our office is that we have a balance center partnership with Mountain River Physical Therapy where we as the audiologist will perform a hearing test and a balance test and that will be the, the diag diagnosis kind of uh, surrounding that. We pass that on to the physical therapist and they will take care of the treatment of the balance disorder. And then the treatment of the hearing disorder, if there is one, then that comes back to us. So we can right. kind of work together with that. Yeah, and the nice thing about that relationship with any of those uh, other professionals or specialists is that we know that that working that closely with those other specialists, the outcomes for the patient typically are faster and better. All right, now that you know what an audiologist is, what our educational background is, and how we support um, our patients and other professionals, let's talk a little bit about the scope of practice for an audiologist. 
Um, we are non-surgical doctors, mm -hmm. so that's important to get out of the way right up front. Mm -hmm. But let's talk a little bit about, um, for example, we're in the state of West Virginia. Let's talk about some of the things that we can diagnose and treat. So one of the main things that we work with is hearing. So we evaluate and treat hearing losses um, in, a, in a wide variety of ways, mm -hmm. either with hearing aids, um, a, an appropriate referral to another specialist, um, uh, cochlear implants, bone anchored implants, so we can address those issues in many different ways. Right, and we also will evaluate um, tinnitus. So if you have ringing, buzzing, hissing, any of those sensations in your ears, we can evaluate what that sounds like to you and come up with an appropriate management strategy to help you through that. One of the other things that we do is, like we mentioned earlier, is work really closely with a physical therapy group. So we uh, will monitor or test vestibular, uh, the vestibular system and vestibular function or balance function and then work closely with a PT uh, in order to help those patients get back up, back up and running. Absolutely. Um, we also take wax out of um, patients' ears, which we referenced in the last episode. And then in kind of related to that, um, we also do impressions of the ears so that custom ear pieces can be used to couple with hearing aids, but also use as um, sleep plugs, noise protection, all kinds of different varieties there um, that we do for kids and adults. Right, and speaking of kids, we work really closely <laughs> with our local school systems. So we provide all of the audiology support for the kids in the school system, um, working closely with speech language pathologists. We also have a pediatric um, branch to our clinic where we see kids too. So we can evaluate and treat um, both hearing issues or concerns for, for pediatrics, um, central auditory processing concerns as well, um, uh, and fitting and dispensing of hearing aids and other technologies to help kids in, in school. Yeah, so as you can see, just with our clinic, we treat and evaluate from newborns, because we can evaluate newborns hearing, all the way up to end of life. So we, we see everybody, we have a, a pretty large range of, of capabilities here in our office and that does differ office to office right, so if right. you're curious about a certain service that's offered um, wherever you may be um, going to get your audiology care just ask and they'll be open with you about what they can and, and cannot provide all right everybody that's a wrap thank you for joining us today we hope that you have a better understanding about the profession of audiology and what an audiologist does but if we did not answer all of your questions or if you can think of more um, more questions or additional topics for this podcast please let us know you can comment on this or you can send us an, an email at info info at here wv.com or you can call us at 304-428-2403 Right. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Um, let us know if we can help you with anything. But in the meantime, see you next time. Thank you. Thanks.